Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Dyknan. I'm an outcomes and evaluation expert, and I'm going to be talking to you here about a new approach to uh, evaluation planning, program evaluation planning, where we build a visual program evaluation plan. And it's quite an innovative uh, way of dealing with the question of evaluation planning. What's the traditional approach? Well, the traditional approach that an evaluator like me and millions of evaluators around the world um, do is to, to, to write an evaluation plan. And these things can range from 20 to 100 pages long, very dense documents. Um, you spend a long time wordsmithing these documents to get them right. Um, but they tend to be very cumbersome documents for stakeholders to quickly get a view of what's happening in an evaluation, quite inaccessible often. And lastly, the reality of the modern world is that people don't really have time anymore to read a 100-page document. Even if they, they would like to, they often just don't have time to do so. They may go through and put yellow stickies uh, to pretend that they've read the document, but often they won't have actually read it. So we have a problem, and the, the problem is that our key stakeholders and our decision makers are often not reading our evaluation plans, and as a result, they're not really having quality input into decision making around those evaluation plans. There has to be a better way of doing this, and that's what I want to talk about now. And this better way, I think, is to build a visual program evaluation plan. And to do this, we structure our plan around a thing called a program logic. And a program logic, as you'll know if you've seen some of the other videos in the series, is simply a model which sets out all of the steps that we need to take in order to achieve higher level outcomes. No more complicated than that, and it's known by various names, intervention logic, results map, theory of change, etc. If we use this approach, we actually structure our evaluation planning onto a visual model. And so I'm going to show you now how we can do this, and I'm going to use DoView Outcomes and Evaluation software, which is software designed both for building program logics, but also to let us use those program logics, or outcomes models as they're sometimes called, let us use them to structure our whole evaluation planning. So here we have a model, and it's a very simple one just for illustrative purposes. In reality, these models would be more complicated, and within DoView it allows you to create multiple page models, so we would expect the, the model to be larger than this in the normal course of events. But for this illustration here, we have a very simple model, which is about a school-based educational campaign around smoking, a school-based campaign being run, uh, students uh, change their attitudes towards smoking, because it's a smoking reduction program here, students have more knowledge about the hazards of smoking, and that leads through to reduce smoking. Now what I have done is now started to map onto that my evaluation question. So I'm inserting an evaluation question here. Did the school-based educational campaign uh, change students' attitudes towards smoking? And I've put that, and I'm just visually uh, moving that and putting that next to reduce smoking because that's the overall objective or outcome of the program. Now this is actually what we call an outcome or an impact evaluation question, so I've just actually popped that at the bottom of the question. Another question, another evaluation question is potentially, how was the school-based program implemented? And there's actually a process evaluation question, looking at the process of the program, and I've put that at a relevant level, sort of halfway up the logic model. And then lastly, we have, in this case, a formative evaluation question, which is all about making sure the program is well-formed, well-implemented, what are the best methods for communicating with students? So you can see that we can use this to, to structure discussions with stakeholders. Uh, it's a lot more accessible than just a, a document. Often there'll be a list of evaluation questions in these big documents we normally produce. Um, and often, in fact, you find in those documents that the evaluation questions tend to overlap with each other because it's, it's hard to keep track of them. Using a visual approach, we know exactly where each evaluation question goes and we can keep control of uh, the evaluation question language so that two evaluation questions which are very similar, uh, different, exactly the same question but put in different uh, verbal terms, can actually be mapped back onto the same part of the model and we can control the discussion of evaluation questions which is often quite a confused discussion amongst stakeholders. So having done this we can then set ourselves up with here what I'm doing is a first evaluation project is an outcome evaluation project 
and we've got listed here the question which that has been answered in that project did the school based educational campaign change students attitudes towards smoking and then I've set out the method which um, I've, I've described here which is quasi experimental design with five classes getting the program and five classes not and comparing the results so then we can also set out for the uh, another evaluation project evaluation project two formative and process evaluation and that sets out the two questions being answered by that evaluation project and the way we would do it focus groups with students key informant interviews with staff etc you can then if you wish create a pdf of this visual evaluation plan send it off to stakeholders uh, you can create a web page model which you can put up on the on the web if you're using something like DoView, and you can click through this model um, so that people can rapidly come to terms with what it is how you're planning your evaluation and in fact just as an aside uh, if if a funding organization say a philanthropic organization wanted to disseminate template evaluation plans which their uh, those being funded could use uh, and adjust and amend they could actually distribute them this way using web page models now the benefits of this approach are first it's fast to, cr to create I can build one of these models and in, in about half the time it takes to wordsmith a long traditional evaluation plan secondly evaluators find it very very accessible um, I was in a board uh, meeting or presenting an evaluation not long ago and uh, the board members noted about how that for the first time they felt they were actually involved in the evaluation planning um, and once you've built the plan, you can leverage off it. So you can live it, use it as a living document to control the implementation of the evaluation. And then if, for instance, a staff member leaves, um, when a new staff member comes in, an evaluation staff member, they just pick up the DoView uh, visual evaluation plan and out of the back of it would be linked all the relevant files on their local computer. And so the new staff member has complete control and can immediately get an overview of where the evaluation is at. What I've presented here is an innovative approach to uh, evaluation planning which moves away from the traditional approach of straight text-based documents to a much more visual environment for evaluation planning. I hope this assists you in your ongoing evaluation work.